idea that they'd be sold out. That's crazy. I just can't believe how fast we're going. We're going so fast. Hey! <laughs> 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 Do you even see it? Look how tiny the people are. <laughs> wow. We are packed up and ready to go. We're gonna take the Mayan train from Cancun to Merida. We're gonna stay one night. We don't even have a place to stay yet, but I got my big bag that I could use for a night or three weeks. I'm like, you think I'm going for a week? Diego's bringing a backpack and I got two other bags. You ready, babe? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh man. So we're hungry. We're gonna get something to eat first. We're gonna call an Uber. Actually, I don't know if we'll do the Uber right now, but we're gonna call an Uber because I wanna show you what it's like to use Uber. I really, really like Uber and uh, when they do work, there's not very many of them. Are these Fruit Loops or what do you call them? What do you Fruit call Loops. Fru not Fruit Loops, is it Fruit Loops? Yum. So we're gonna get something to eat first and then take you with us on the train. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna take an Uber from here to Michiladas, which is close to where we're gonna go and have tacos. So we're gonna go from here to Semaforo, which is 46 pesos on Uber, which normally on taxi would be 40 pesos, but for the use of it and easiness, easiness of it and the cleanliness, so six pesos more, it's totally worth it. So we're gonna confirm Uber. So we've decided to go straight there um, because we feel like we're crunching time and I just ate a uh, cream cheese roll up with a ham <laughs> and Diego, he's like digging in the... <laughs> we're like, we're hungry, but we're like also wanna get there early uh, and we're running late. So, uh, so it went from 46 pesos and then to take Uber from Puerto Morelos from our house to the Cancun station. It's 339 pesos and it's a Friday afternoon at 2.45. So um, you can see here, it says your price has changed. But I was able to change it just from the app. Boom, ready to go. From Puerto Morelos to the Cancun station, Mayan train station, it is about 25 minute drive. So it's pretty quick and uh, it's actually the exit just before you get to the airport. It's its own separate little exit right there um, to get to the Mayan train station that's near the Cancun airport. So the exit from Puerto Morelos coming to Cancun, it just says like an exit for Holbox and I can't remember Holbox and Merida, but it doesn't say an exit for the Mayan train. So you better pay attention to where you're going. So this looks like they're gonna be adding a bridge it looks like right at the entrance. And then when we enter, there's still a lot of construction right at the Cancun airport uh, train station. All right, we made it. That was fast and easy, just like I like it. We decided to, uh, we wanted to take the train from Puerto Morelos, but we ran out of time. So we decided just to come from the Cancun station and we are back and we are gonna take the train from Cancun to Merida. Join us. Well, at least now they have a GoMart. So GoMart, they even have empanadas. They have some hot food and some cold food, it looks like. Um, all right, I'm glad they have something because we're starving Marvin. Well, we're gonna go another day, I guess, because uh, they're sold out. I'm so disappointed right now. No idea that they'd be sold out. That's crazy. I'm so sad. Diego's checking, maybe we can just go to Valladolid instead of Merida, which I'm kind of disappointed, but that's still, they're available, so we're gonna see what we're gonna do. So Diego's checking. They have, so far they have two seats for Valladolid. They have two seats for Chichen Itza. And now she's checking the next stop. Diego's trying to make it work for something. Maybe we can still take it. I was so like a hit to my gut, but it's Semana Santa. I knew it'd be busy, but I did not think it would be sold out. La Aventura. La Aventura. Okay, so we're going to Chichen Itza. Diego's trying to act like he's disabled so he can get a discount. For teachers, students, 
and so disabled, mm -hmm. that's what Turista Especial or Special Tourist means. So that's the price that you'll see online. Diego, dulces, woo! <laughs> la última, la última. <laughs> should we still go to Merida or should we stay? Oh, I'm so confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diego's investigating. So even if we did go, there's no trains returning that are. Or we can come, we can come back, but they have seats, but we would be sitting separate. All right, we have a few things to think about. Let's think about this. So they're trying, they're trying to charge me a different price right now that is not national. What's the other one? So there's local and then there's national. It's national? Okay. Okay. We're going to clear this up in a minute because they ended up charging me not the local price, but the national price. We were not able to get tickets to Merida, but we're going to Valladolid instead. My ticket, so it's a little confusing because my ticket was 355 pesos, which is about 21, 22 dollars. And Diego's was $15 or 233 pesos. The reason that's confusing is when we were on the train from Puerto Morelos to Playa de Carmen, they gave me the local price, which I'm not mad about it because I honestly feel like the Mexicans should get a better deal anyways than the residents that are foreigners. So I'm okay with it, but it's just a little inconsistent. I found out something else interesting. Diego for tomorrow cannot get a discount for instead of Instead of him paying 233 pesos for him, it's gonna be 355 pesos because they only allow a certain number of locals, or I should say local prices on the train. So you might qualify for the local discount, but it doesn't mean you'll actually get it because they only allow a certain number of people to get the local discount. Wow. So complicated. <laughs> and unlike in Puerto Morelos, where they printed out our tickets, here they're not printing them out. They're sending them to you by email. They are not providing Wi-Fi. They don't have any Wi-Fi here. So Diego's had some issues getting the email. You finally got it? Oh, it went to spam. So, but that is something to think about as a foreigner, if you don't have a phone with internet, which annoys me because the Cancun airport also doesn't have Wi-Fi. And <laughs> And neither does the Mayan train. And clearly Diego's looking for Wi-Fi. <laughs> Did you find anything, babe? Oh, shit. <laughs> He's looking for Wi-Fi. So the train should be coming in about 20 minutes here. So you can feel everybody getting restless. So we got our tickets. We're going to Valladolid. And they gave... Dis a discount. What, what did she say the percentage was? Of 30 people. people. 30 people. So there's a max of 30 people that can be on the train that have the local discount. That's the max. There is no discount, discount price. Yeah. yeah, the local price. So there's a total of 221 seats. They only allow 30 of those seats to have a local discount. So that's really interesting. I wouldn't have even thought of something like that. But again, like I mentioned, I do believe that it's a good idea because for foreigners, but if you obviously have a lot of Mexicans using the train to only allow 30 seats for a discount seems kind of uh, rude, honestly. Well, the same thing doesn't happen to you to what happened to Diego and I is that the train being sold out to go to Merida and also the discount tickets for those that are local, which I'm going to go over those prices with you guys right now to make it clear. But first off, you're going to go to trainmaya.gob.mx, or MX. You're going to click Compra Tu Boleto Aquí, which means uh, buy your ticket here. It's going to take you to this next page. And you're going to put in from wherever you want to go, which most likely is probably Cancun Airport. That's a big station. And we are going to Valladolid. And then we'll just click the earliest day available adults and then you click search and once you click this search button it'll give you a code here to put in and I can't read that so I'm going to put in what I think it is and if that's not it well then I think we can go here so we're Cancun Airport to Valladolid and once you put in that code you'll come here so it double checks everything now what I wanted to show you guys is the prices here now you're going to have two different prices, classes I should say. The premier class, which I don't really recommend, It's a, the seats are a little bit wider but everything else is pretty much the same and you are closer to the bar slash cafe. 
So national premier is 566, international premier is 755. National premier is just anybody that has an ID within Mexico. International premier is anybody that just doesn't have a Mexican ID. Now, this is where it gets confusing for a lot of people. The first one here is called special tourist. That is for anybody elderly, disabled, student, or teacher. So you're gonna have to bring your ID um, and proof that you're a student or proof that you're a teacher. A local tourist is somebody that has an ID within the five states that the train goes through. So that includes residents, temporary and um, permanent, and Mexicans that have an ID within Quintana Roo, Yucatan, Campeche, Tobasco, and um, Chiapas. Those are the five states that the train runs through. National tourist is any Mexican or resident that has an ID outside of those states um, in Mexico. And then international tourist is anybody that doesn't have a Mexican ID. So that breaks down the price for you guys. I wanted to be sure to show you this because even over here where it says info, these info buttons don't give you any more information <laughs> so um, about what what that class means. So anyways, I hope that's helpful. Let's get back to the video. I don't know if you can hear in the background, they're definitely like working on the second platform up here. A lot of work and they're still, look at, they've still got the construction. I mean, there's still all kinds of construction around this place. Crazy. Okay, so before we get on the train, we have to also give them our ID again and our tickets 14 times. All right, so we made it. So we met this couple earlier, son and daughter team, and she was really frustrated because they came from the airport and they've been waiting for two and a half hours. So by the time the train gets here, it'll be three and a half hours that they've been waiting here. And Diego and them already made a plan to do a prank. So Diego is gonna do the prank right now, telling the kid that he's under arrest or something. I don't know. So we didn't make it to Merida. We're only going to Valladolid. Oh. Yeah, so it's fine though. Okay. Yeah, we're happy with it. It's, yeah. it's fine, I just wanted I just wanted to be sure to, to take a train. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but I'm kind of bummed that we're not going to Merida. So can I, can I speak with you a little bit? Yeah. You are from uh, Germany? Yeah. Can I, can I check your luggage? Why? You have a, a lot of things like a cream and lotion. Cream and lotion? Cream and lotion? Yeah. Is that illegal? Can I speak with you? No, that's correct. You have to speak. You have to speak to... Uh, who are you looking for? For things that you cannot be having here. Who told Water? you that we had cream and lotion? Water also? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't go as planned. <laughs> No, it's a joke. It's, it's a, a joke. joke. It's just a joke. And I'm recording you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We met them earlier when we were in say we were like, we were gonna play the joke on you a long time ago. <laughs> Your face. Oh, it's a good one. We had this all done, so he had to ask for Fabio. He said, ask for Fabio. I just saw his face. He started to be like, what the fuck? He's like, why can't we have cream? <laughs> Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I recorded it. Is that okay? Okay. okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's always a prankster. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is my husband. I tried to act like I don't know him. I was like, oh. <laughs> so we come together. And then, and, uh, and then he was staring at me like, I don't look at me. <laughs> we'll see you on the train, yeah? Did you think you were getting arrested right now? Like, what was going through your mind? I, I didn't even know. I thought maybe he would be like the private detective. And yeah. he was like, Diego, the private. Yeah. <laughs> no, my husband's always a prank. And they said you're a prankster too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was a good one. Okay, we're in three, so we're at the back of the train. Well, actually, I think it's the front of the train. I'm just gonna show you the line of people. So that's now gonna be the front of the train. It's full. Abuelito, eh. 
foto, 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 um, but uh, hopefully I don't get eaten by the doors today. But it's really cool because you can just feel the emotion from people, everybody taking photos and video. But we're gonna walk through and just show you how full it is. Hey! Hi. <laughs> we found you guys! I didn't realize you guys were all the way back here. Hi! My favorite place in the Tren Maya. Mi, 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 mi lugar favorito in the Tren Maya. <laughs> I think I forgot my card. So I'm at the cafe or bar, and they do have a, a, a menu that you can choose from. But uh, I'm pretty sure they don't have everything as they're just opening. But it is full, so I'm thinking that they should have a pretty good selection. But they have anything from like sandwiches and tamales and panadas. And then they have chips and drinks and coffee. And then they also have um, alcohol. But it's, it looks like Bacardi. Ooh, they do have mezcal. Mezcal and like a, something to make a carajillo, which I love. But I've already, I already had a carajillo this morning, so. Um, I think I'm just gonna get a little snack. We haven't eaten yet. Um, oh, we're moving. Wow, we're going way faster than what we were in Puerto Morelos. Look at this. Yeah, so she said we're, go she said we're going 140 kilometers an hour. As compared to Puerto Morelos, we were going 70 kilometers an hour. So this is very fast, very fast. other side of the cafeteria or the bar is the premium so this is the handicap area well they actually have chairs right now but this is handicap oh there's an extra fridge be sure to push the buttons so you don't get bitten by the door so you can see this is the premium and like I mentioned in the other train the premium trains the areas have wider seats so there's only three seats to the line rather than four. And this is the last cart coming, going to Valladolid, but coming to Cancun, it was the first cart. But you can see here, there's only three, three rows. I just can't believe how fast we're going. We're going so fast. Awesome, awesome. If they knew me, they wouldn't hand me this tray. Let's see what happens. A su madre. I got you Cuba Libre with lime. What is it? Quemadita. Oh. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I saw. We're slowed down. <laughs> Is that what he said? Yeah. No, I see it. Oh, it's going so fast. Oh, it says the velocity. So now we've slowed down to 104 kilometers. No, but it's, it's going. Look, 112. Now we're going 112. Oops. Oh. There it is. 115. So he saw it on there. He said it was going 138. So much faster. Oh. The total for two Coca Colas. No no two, the total for two Coca Colas no is uh, two Coca Colas, no the sandwich, anywhere. and the rum <laughs> is uh, was 338 pesos. But then I added a 15% tip, tip, so it's about 18 dollars, I'd say, for everything. So it's obviously more expensive than you would getting it at a store, but still not like it would be in the states. That's for sure. Okay, here comes the magic, okay? You should do this. Oh, it's echo. echo. It's echo. echo. Don't look my belly. Don't look my belly. Salud. We made it, baby. 
I can't kiss you with my hat. Come on, just... Love you. Oh, I needed something cold. Yep. Our first stop is Leona Bacario. For our returning ticket, we're actually returning to Leona Bacario because we wanted to see three train stations. So instead of coming back to Cancun, because you can stop in Leona Bacario and go down the Ruta de los Cenotes to go back to Puerto Morelos. All right, here we go. put them above mine fit um, because the back area where all the luggages were were pretty full so it was actually a good idea to put the roller up here obviously because it's closer to us and if people get on and off the train you want to be sure that your luggage is right next to you I think that's a better idea so traveling with small luggage it's it works out on this same line five days ago between Texcoco, I don't know how to say it, and Merida. They, um, it was coming from Merida through to Cancun. Mm -hmm. it, it derailed, so going 140 kilometers right now. Every little noise, Diego and I were looking at each other like, oh, oh, oh. I don't know where, we're not at a stop right now, but we are stopped, but I don't know where. I'm calling a hotel in Valladolid that my mom and I stayed at. I just realized we still don't have a hotel. <laughs> okay, muy bien, gracias and we still don't have a place. This is Nuevo Xcan, X or Xcan, maybe S, X, C, A, N. Didn't even know it was on the stop. Little tiny town it must be. At the Nuevo Xcan stop, we stopped for 15 minutes. It was a 15 minute stop. So it's not just two we minutes. We are really fast. We are really fast. Look at this. No, but oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. All right, all right. Like this? You can see through the window. <laughs> yeah, that's our window seat. I really Preparing think. What? I really think depending. Preparing what? Preparing the file. Oh, thank you for answering. Or crabby. I really think depending on what mood I'm in, like this kid behind me has his telephone on and he's playing a game. And it's one thing that I think in Mexico, it's just not, like in the States, people are very, I don't know, um, they're always wearing headphones and stuff. But here with kids, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm only in the States a month or two months yeah, of the year. <laughs> yeah. They kick your seats. They here. throw food. Here? In U.S. Oh, in U.S. They threw food. Oh, yeah, because you've been yeah. there. Well, you can ask the people how the kids are in U.S. Mm. Mm. You will be surprised. Oh, there goes the train. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> We have service like in the plane, it's coming around. But we are about an hour and a half into the trip, so that's why I started at the beginning to get my own drink and snack because I wasn't about to wait. Okay, no, 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 se me preocupes. Gracias. ¿Qué tiene? Tengo bacardi, tequila, mezcal. Ooh, whiskey. whiskey. All right, so I called five hotels, and after calling five hotels, I found a place called Los Candiles, and it looks pretty good. Um, looks pretty small and simple. We are going to stay there. I made a reservation. They just asked me for my name, and then they said, we'll see you in about 30 minutes. So I think we are arriving, or we're about to arrive to Valladolid, and uh, yeah, the whole day has been like, we don't know what we're doing, um, but we're figuring it out as we go. Crazy day. And Diego? Oh. I have no shoes. I know, I thought about that. I have my bra and... I could use it. Yeah, your underwear. Diego almost forgot my bag. You have to stay for yourself. Must not. <laughs> okay, we are arriving to Valladolid Station, and I think it took us about two hours, but I'll, I'll, I'll verify that. 15.38. 
So yeah, it was it's almost exactly two hours. Gracias. So we're gonna walk around a little bit of the Valladolid station. Ooh, we're gonna go down the electric stairs. Ooh. You're awake now, huh? All right, so this one looks really small, kind of like, well, even smaller than the Puerto Morelos station. Let me see. Oh, I love this light. It's golden hour. Whoa. Yeah, this looks a lot smaller than um, like Cancun or Playa de Carmen. Uh, looks like it's gonna have some shops. They have lots of parking and I'm gonna use the restroom. We have the baby changing. Again, bathrooms, very clean. If you've been to Mexico or know anything about Mexico, bathrooms usually are not the priority. So it's nice that the bathrooms are nice and clean. Looks like the train was waiting for the, the uh, driver to get coffee here. Um, but this place is really clean. It doesn't look like, like the other stations. It doesn't look like there's many places for seating. Um, the car that, the train that we were on only had four carts. So I'm assuming as they get full, like what we were today, they'll probably add more train carts. But we, we are grabbing the bus right now. I don't know how much it is, but uh, it's the Oriente bus that will take us into Valladolid from the train. Each. To take the bus, it's 35 pesos each, which is about two and a half, three dollars. No, three dollars. Three dollars. Here we go. I'm gonna show this to you on my phone, but we are dropped about 10 minutes north of town. I should say 10 minutes north of the center area, centro. Um, but to our hotel, our hotel is in centro it's a 10 minute ride so once you get off the train and we've been upstairs recording for at least 10 maybe 15 minutes because the train left late because the conductor got off to get coffee it looks like but what i was going to say is that uh it's still another 10 minute ride once you arrive and i don't know if there's taxis here i should ask them i'll ask them when we get off but this is what it looks like on my phone where we're at compared to where we're going we were dropped off on the north and then we're going in the center of Valladolid. The lady that uh, we were talking to earlier that waited a long time at the train uh, coming flying in from the airport, she just talked to Diego and she said, hey, how much did they charge you to get on the bus? And he said 35 pesos. Oh, here comes the other train. Look it. That's why we're waiting. And it's not typical like that. It's we're not waiting. everywhere. There but. it is. But anyways, um, they charged, she, she said, She said, how much did they charge you? And Diego said, oh, 35 pesos. And she's like, oh, they charged me 50. So it's 15 pesos. It's like a dollar more, but it's just not right. So it's- and They don't even care about the luggage. They say like, oh yeah, put it there. Like a, okay. Yeah, like they so don't they even- usually in Cancun, Playa del Carmen, Puerto Morelos, uh, the operators, they used to say like, oh, please let me do it. Yes. And they do it for you. It's not typical that everyone do like this. And, like, yeah, put it there. Yeah. And I talked to the lady, hey, well, to the girl, like, I, they pay you more for the ticket. No. And then the lady jumped behind me, like, yes, I pay you 50 pesos, not 35. Look, uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, Did they give it back to her? I must have done, uh, I don't know what happened. Here is your change. Like, uh, yeah, so, I mean, you just have to be careful. And, and that was really smart of her to ask, like, what did they charge Diego? Because we've already spoke to them at the other train, at the other location. The train, uh, we tried to pay them with card and they said like, oh, we don't have card. Okay, cash, yeah, here's the money. Oh, I have no change. So uh, if you don't wanna, if you want your change back, you can say like, okay, I want my drinks and I want everything. It's not my problem that you don't have change. You, know? right. you need to break the bill. I mean, the, the servers.
bus that you'll take from the train station and then you come to the audio bus station. I don't know how we lived without GPS. It says about an eight minute walk. So we're gonna go ahead and walk to the hotel and the German family, they said, we wanna meet up with you. But um, the lady's like, let's just see how we feel because she's pretty disappointed. They took the Mayan train and they thought the Mayan train came every hour. And she said that they thought they were gonna arrive in Valladolid probably by 12 or 1 p.m. And here it is. 6 30 p.m. She goes, we're exhausted and we didn't think that it was going to take this long. She goes, if I were to have to redo this, I would have taken the audio, but they could have looked online, but I felt the same when we first came to the Mayan train. I thought they were going to be every hour, but they're not. Out of Cancun, there's only three trains going out for the whole day. So you live and you learn, but that's why I'm making these videos so you guys can know what to expect when you do these travels. We're doing our best. We're figuring it out and we're trying to teach you along the way. Oh, we're going to turn right. Here here we go. Yeah, at the corner. Look how cute this ice cream store is. Oh my goodness, look at these giant flowers. So look here at the mom video. Que bonito. Gracias. Gracias. Here's hammock repair. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just love it. I'm so glad we're staying the night here. I'm excited. I compromiso. So this is the park. There's kids out. Hotel Colonial. We made it to our hotel, we're checked in. It's the tiniest room. We don't have a window. We have a window to the hallway, but it's called Los Candiles, which means like the lamps. And what's really cute is you'll see the park here. We'll do a little close up, but the park here is just full of kids. And we went an hour behind, so it's only 7.30 instead of 8.30. But it's really cute how many kids are out here and they're playing across the, literally just right across from the front of the hotel. Okay, we're gonna walk in. I'm gonna show you our room, but we're right in the lobby. It's probably, I'd say it's the second worst room I've ever stayed in, but what's really cute is Antonio, the front desk guy. He's super sweet, super welcoming, was just really easy to talk to, I guess, but you know how you just get a good vibe? He's got a good vibe. So we're gonna go in and show you our tiny little room. Yeah, hi, <laughs> welcome, my first advisor. Yay! <laughs> so a little um, reception area here, and then they have a fridge, microwave. I'll show you the, the good before we get to the room. How about that? And then they have a little pool here. It's cute. And then I would have loved to have this room at least with the balcony at the top. But we're not, we just took the first place that we found that was available. And uh, oh, they have a coffee maker and water out here. You ready for our grand room? Da -da -da -da. You ready babe, are you naked? He's naked. You ready guys? He's naked. Hey baby. He looks so tired. So we have no window inside. We have a little TV. Dun, da, da, da. This is the bed. <laughs> this is the bed number one. This is the... Oh no, what is the number of the room? Uh, uh, two. We're number two. Oh, this is the number two. This is, this is my office. But the funny thing is, the bathroom is huge. And doesn't have a seat. Not very happy about that. But this thing is huge. This is like... I think this is bigger than the room. All right, so I didn't do good, but we're comfortable, we're safe, we have AC. Uh, I'm uploading my YouTube video for Saturday, for tomorrow morning. Uh, we're gonna go get some dinner. And we have, I don't know if this is for them not to hear us or for them, for us, for them, for us not to hear them. <laughs> we made it, babe. We made it via the lead number, 117.5. <sighs> He's delirious. All right, so we're gonna go get something to eat and I want salbutes, panuchos, algo así de, de, de Valladolid, Yucatan, Yucatan. Let's go. going to breakfast we don't know where but we figured today we're not sure what we're doing 
That's, the, that's basically the theme of this whole trip. So we're gonna go to breakfast and then we're maybe gonna try to fly the drone a little bit. Our Diego's gonna fly the drone. Don't trust me with the drone. And then uh, we may or may not go to this B place. We may or may not go to a cenote. Just enjoy what's happened, what's gonna happen next. Cause just like you don't, we don't know either. I got two panuchos and one salbute. Panuchos, the only difference is inside, like between the tortilla, they have put beans, and then there's on top is the meat, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, and avocado. And then I also ordered uh, habanero salsa. So, but you can see this is a panucho, and this is a salbute. And it's a little bigger, the salbute as well. So, provecho, as we say in Mexico. Say good morning. Good morning. Hello. Oh, I gotta say, do you see this is Iowa State? So somebody, we don't, I, I know he commented before on Facebook, but he said, I always see Diego with University of Iowa hats, the Hawkeyes. He's like, we're going to bring you guys Iowa State hats. He dropped it off at Pirata, right? Pirata. And I'm so thankful, but who to say help, um, thank you. Try it again or something. Yeah, tell us who you are, because I, I know it's in a comment somewhere, but we couldn't find it. I cannot, I can just say thank you, you wearing it, and I like it, I really like it. Like it. I can't even see you. You're like the same color. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. That was so sweet of you. Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you. Thank you so, so much. This is very much the same thing in Merida, but you hardly have anywhere to walk. And if there's a pole, you even have less room to walk. Look at this. Ta -da! I believe that Merida and Valladolid, neither one of them, Valladolid, I should say, neither one of them are very handicap accessible. Uh, I mean, just like most of Mexico, but this is extreme, I feel like. Up we go. Down we go. Oh, but there's a ramp. <laughs> oh, Do you, want to sit, do you want to sit in the kissing chair and give me a kiss? I don't know. I don't know. Give me a kiss, baby. These are the Yucatan kissing it chairs. Poop. It has poop? I don't want to sit in the poop one. Maybe it's not poop, but it looks like poop. I'll sit there. I don't want to. Oh, this one is wet. I'm so lucky today. <laughs> this is the red one. This is the red one. This thing is recording? Yeah. Well, it looks like no. Okay, give me a kiss. <laughs> Love you. There is a history behind these chairs and I'll find out and I'll tell you more once I know. Because I think I know, but I'm going to confirm it because I'm not sure if I know. You know? I will go in to ask this couple that is in front of us because when I started to walk uh, towards the chair, the guy was doing like this to her, but they saw me and they're like, oh, well, what this guy wants? So I will ask them if I don't bother them and I will explain them that they can use the chair Well, they're living. So I don't think so. In the main park, they have like a market. They didn't used to have this. So this is really cute. They have all kinds of stuff for sale in the main park here. Sana, sana, colita de rana. Si no sana hoy, sanará mañana. I hit my toe really hard on the table. <laughs> oh, curse this table, I've hit it twice. What is that, what you just did to my toe? It's not a prey, but it's kind of a... Like a superstition? Like not superstition, it's, it's for the kids. When the kids hit and they fail, you just tell them, you, you do this like, oh, sana, sana, colita de rana. Si no sana hoy, sanará mañana. Which means heal, heal the butt of the of frog. the little frog. Rana. It's not a frog, but Toad. Rana is like a little yeah. heal, heal 
butt of the frog. If he is not healed today, he's gonna heal tomorrow. So my toe, I think, will heal tomorrow. I ordered the huevos multileños, multileños, M-O-T-U-L-E-N-U-S. It's it's traditional from the Yucatan, but especially from Motul, which is a small town in the Yucatan. So it has the tostada, cheese, beans, peas, and ham, and then they made it with plantain as well. And you got the what? I don't know. The special. Oh, it's by, by, by yeah, Soledanos. I'm not saying right. It's traditional from Yucatan as well. It has longanisa, which is like a chorizo. Yeah. We had a wonderful breakfast at La Campagna. La Campagna. Right here. This is where I brought my mom like three years ago for dinner. We were here. We stayed, I think, two nights in Valladolid. And um, she cried because uh, many of you don't know this, but my mom sells roses in the bars in Sioux City, Iowa. She's been doing it for like 15, 16, 17 years. I always mess up the years, but there was a guy here selling roses and something that makes my mom really happy when people are buying her roses is they'll buy a rose for everybody in the bar. Uh, like all the women, I'm just, I should say. So I did that here and my mom cried. She's like, did you just buy a rose for every lady? And then I have a picture with the guy. So hopefully I can put that in, in this video. But Diego is going to fly his drone. I don't know where he went. Let's see if we can find him. What happened? What happened? Oh my God, what happened? What happened? What happened, babe? Well, I can tell Why you, you leave the restaurant? What's the orange? Con cuidado sin GPS. It doesn't have GPS? Updated. Oh. Oh my God, we have no GPS. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Look at this beautiful dog. Oh, hermoso. Oh my goodness, you're beautiful. Como se llama? Jack. Jack? Jack. Hi, Jack. <laughs> He's a, um, what kind of dog is he? Uh, Pastor Pas Belga. Pastor Belga. Okay. Oh yeah, Belgium. Belgian Belgium. Shepherd, yes. You're so beautiful. You're a giant. <laughs> and a corgi. corgi. Hola. Oh, oh look at you. Oh, she's so sweet. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> oh, celoso. <laughs> So it's a loso, huh? Huh? Roxy. Roxy? Boy. Hi, boy, hi, boy. Oh, it's okay? Oh, it's okay. No, no maybe not. We've got another expensive dog breed. Hola. 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 Hi. Hi. Oh, it's a loso, huh? <laughs> Okay, we are checked out of our hotel. Look at, here's a little park. You probably couldn't see it last night very well. We decided that we were gonna go to this other cenote, but it was 900 pesos. And we know, we don't know that cenote, but we know a cenote close to it. So we decided we're gonna go to Zaxi. Saki, Saki, uh, Cenote, it's only four blocks away from our hotel and it looks beautiful. We don't have our swimsuits. I don't know why we didn't think of that. I always bring my swimsuit. So if needed, if I jump in, I am gonna put on my bra and yoga pants because <laughs> it's hot. But I was telling Diego, I said it, it's, the, it's hot, but it's not like Puerto Morelos hot because it's not as humid, not near as humid. You all right? Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> That's hot. He's the one dragging everything. I don't force him to carry my luggage. He doesn't allow me to. Let me be clear. He is my husband, not my slave. Right, babe? Yep. Our train leaves Valladolid at 3.56 p.m. So what we're gonna do is, like I said, go to the cenote and then just probably either A, take a taxi straight to the train or take the bus from the Adio. Just depends on what kind of time we're running. We were thinking to go to uh, Cancun to do the video from the airport or from the train to the airport, but it's gonna be dark by that time. So we'll probably have to just come back and do that one because I'd like that to be a separate video anyways. So for now, we're gonna go to the cenote for a couple hours and then go take the the train back to Leona Vicario. Okay, 
Okay, I really want something to drink, like an electrolyte, something cold, and I stumbled upon this place. It looks pretty cute. All right, looks like we met at Saksi, Saki, Saki. It says restaurant and cenote. It's right in the middle of town, which is pretty cool. If it's nice, let's check it out. Oh, they're doing the dance. <laughs> Quite literally, here's the restaurant, and here's the cenote right in front of me. Whoa. Probably, geez, look at all the stairs. Oh my gosh. Can you even see it? Look how tiny the people are. Wow. That was a bit of a, it wasn't too long, but just long enough that it's hot. It's probably 94 degrees right now, but not very high humidity. If I was in Puerto Morelos, I'd be dripping in sweat right now, but I ordered a beer. They brought us some like sausage. I don't know what that is. With chipotle and chipotle. onion. But uh, I showed you the cenote. I'm gonna walk down there. I don't know if they're gonna charge me or not, but neither one of us really wanna get in. Well, A, we didn't bring our swimsuits and B, I mean, I would get in if I had a swimsuit and we have like two hours before we have to leave for the train. So I'm kind of considering getting in, but then I'm gonna have to find a bag to put my wet stuff in. So we'll see what happens. The cenote is 70 pesos, which is like four bucks, let's say. But uh, we got about two hours before we need to leave for the train. And it's a lot of stairs. I really just don't feel like going. So I got some nice shots of it and I'll share it with you guys. But I think it would be totally worth it, especially earlier. It's about one o'clock here right now and it's pretty busy. So I think if you came earlier, it would be nice because there's a lot of people here right now. And it's probably the most centrally located cenote you can find without having to go out into the jungle outside of town. Since we have a couple hours before we need to get the train and I don't really feel like getting in the cenote, I messaged this uh, personalized taxi driver that we were able to get to come pick us up from the cenote and take us to the, it's a honeybee farm, I guess you call it. I don't know what you call those places uh, where it's like natural honey and we're gonna go see that. So um, we're gonna have him take us there. So from Saxi to the honeybee farm, it's 50 pesos. And then from there, we're gonna have him take us to the Mayan train. Here we go. She said there's two, three types of service. I forgot the other one. The restaurant, the tour of the bees, and something else. But we're gonna do the tour of the bees. And it was 250 or 280 pesos. This place looks super beautiful. Oh, look. How cute. Carrying her stuff around. Hola, buenas. Inside this little hut, there's like a little museum and a little dog. Oh, hi, sweetheart. So we got like an old hive. Well, they do tours at specific times and the one that they have that's around our time is 2.30, but we have to catch the train at four and the tour is about an hour and a half, so that's not gonna work. So he said we can hang out, chill here. Um, they have a restaurant and a pool. So it's 150 pesos to go to the pool and it's 200, 250 or 280? 280 pesos for the tour. So we're not gonna do the tour, we're just gonna walk around the museum for a minute. And then he said he has hammocks, so we can hang out in the hammocks and then we'll go to the Tren Maya. So, uh, there, this whole trip was not planned, um, obviously, but we had a lot of fun and it's just been fun to kind of discover and figure out what we figure out. So um, I think we made the most of it. I think we did a lot in 24 hours. I would totally recommend to even just do 24 hours in Valladolid from Puerto Morelos or anywhere on the Riviera Maya. So they have a little store here with all kinds of stuff. And there's Pirata. Dile, hola, Pirata. Pirata. Hola. Hola, hermoso. 
Diego found the hammocks. Is that a foosball table? It's a bunch of foosball. Oh my gosh, how fun. Is there a ball? <laughs> I don't know, this table looks pretty rough. All right, we found the hammocks. We might miss the train, Maya. I'll just stay here. <laughs> Here's the type of house I can afford, but it's still $50,000. <laughs> I still can't afford it. <laughs> Look at the little Mayan huts, they're so cute. We're gonna walk over to the pool and see what it looks like. Oh, it's beautiful, look at this. Here is the bathroom. The pool is absolutely beautiful. I don't know what these little houses are, but there's a little church over here I'm gonna walk over to. It's so beautiful. But look at this little house. Oh, there's another area for hammocks here. Oh, that's a little casita. Are these rented? I'm so confused. Look at this little lonely church up here. Oh, it's so pretty. I have no idea where Diego's at. Maybe he's in the church. So these are these little places are for rent. You can stay here. And it's funny because I was asking the guys, I was like, wait, isn't there a, I don't know how to say it, like a superstition in Maya that if the owl, if you hear an owl in your area or you see an owl and you hear it, it means somebody in your family is gonna die. So I thought it was interesting that they have a huge painting of an owl on the corner here. It's beautiful though. But it has like a room and then below there's a like chill out area in the, with the hammocks. So I guess these little houses are for rent. You can, you can stay here. So cute. That little house I said I couldn't afford, I had no idea what it was. They rent them out. They look tiny, but they look so cute. She's gonna show me inside. Okay, muy bien, gracias. It's like $14 a night. Oh my gosh, how cute is it though? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Okay. ¿Y cuánto cuesta esto? Esta mil ciento cincuenta por dos pesos. Okay. So this is like seventy dollars. Ya cuenta con el tour de Oh, okay. It includes breakfast and the tour. Oh, this is el, ba el baño privado. Oh. Oh, it's like outside. Oh, this is super cool. But it doesn't have air conditioning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. What did you think of that little spot? Good, so pretty. Just pretty like you. Yeah, the little cabanas were like 12 or $15, but there's no air in them. Imagine I'd be dying. And then they have bigger ones that are about $70 a night, but there's no air in those either. So super cute for like the winter, but I could not stay there during the spring, summer, or fall because it's basically cooler here for about three months and that's about it. We are on our way to the Mayan train stop in Valladolid and we will take it to Leona Vicario and hopefully catch an Uber from there. We'll see what happens. It is toasty. 
We took a taxi straight from Honeybee Museum and from Centro they said it's 150 pesos which is about eight bucks ten dollars almost nowadays and for us since we were a little bit farther south it was 200 pesos which is like twelve dollars so it wasn't too bad because we could have taken a taxi to the audio and then an audio bus here but we don't know the hours how often they run and it would have just been more time and maybe saved 20 pesos so not worth it plus we can get here earlier and do some filming and just kind of get to know the space so number one uh i it looks like all the locations that parking is free i'll be honest with you all the parking places that we've been to this A looks like the most covered, but B also looks pretty small. So I'd be curious as the train gets going and if they add more carts, how parking will be because the parking lot looks pretty small, but it looks like there might be areas for, for them to be able to expand as well. So this is the Biodulid station. Yeah, it looks like there's gonna be all kinds of shops here in the middle. So it's just like the train is only thing working, nothing else. <laughs> no stores, no shops rentals, nothing like that. Oh, look at the other side, there's more parking. This is the other side of the parking lot. They are still laying brick. And you can also see that there are some areas here for handicap parking, but these guys are still laying the brick over on this side. Saludos! <laughs> They're all waving. Ven hecho, ven hecho. <laughs> They're so cute. They saw me filming and they started waving. You can tell everybody's just excited to be a part of it. But this is the, the second parking over here. The first one there, it looks like it has at least covered and they're still doing work. Be careful. Look at this. I tripped on this earlier. It don't fall right in. You gotta tell him you gotta pay attention in Mexico. So he's painting. Yeah, these are gonna be all little shops. Not a one of them has anything in it. Inside of Carmen, I know you guys saw Diego goofing around in the um, wheelchairs, but Valladolid also has wheelchairs and they look very comfortable. I might sit in one. <laughs> but um, yeah, this, this station's very much still under construction as you can hear. It's very open and there's not much seating. Um, well, in the shade, I guess there's a ton of seating in the sun, but it is hot. It's gotta be at least 94, 95 degrees right now. Although there are no stores open in the front, I did just realize there's an Oxo and I feel the AC already out here. Oh no, Saramos? Cuando abre? Hasta mañana. Ah, si? I was just gonna go in, she just closed. <laughs> And I don't care. Oh, so, I mean, they have one, but they just closed. <laughs> She's like, sorry, tomorrow. That's just so funny because it's the only store here and the train doesn't leave for another 30 minutes, 45 minutes, I think. The only place that we have to get any snacks or drinks is there. And they only have three trains a day. They're gonna keep us here without eating. And when the train come, we're gonna buy in the train. So uh, maybe it's also smart <laughs> for them. Yeah, that's, but not for Oxo. Oxo's another company. You know what I mean? That's so funny. I'm pretty confused because I just asked the ticket guy. I said, as a re temporary or permanent resident, do we get the local price or do we get the international, well, tourist price? And he says, well, if you have your permanent resident from one of the five states that the train goes through, you get the local price. But we didn't get the local price on the trip. So we're gonna see if they'll give us a refund We'll see what happens. I mean, it's not that big a deal, but it's still like know your price be consistent on each station How much the price is you know what I'm saying? We found out that the guy at Cancun was wrong with the price So if you're a permanent resident or a local resident from any five states that the train goes through which is Chiapas, Tobasco, Campeche, Quintana Roo, and Yucatan. Any of those, you get a local price as long as you have your permanent residence. So he said, he told us to email Mayan train and ask for the refund. I'm not really trying to ask for the refund. I'm just wanting to give you guys the right information is the main thing.
he just showed, he just tested the internet and the internet here is 57 download and like 4.8 4. download and 5 48 download and 4.8 upload that's better than what we have at home half the time in Biodulid. So this looks like this looks like a, a like a repair station actually. You can tell that they can pull in the train and and have a place to maybe do some repairs on the train. Cheers. I ordered a rum and coke. It was 110 pesos, which is about six bucks, and she poured it very strong. Cheers. And I might have to do another one. <laughs> okay, this is the Leona Vicario stop. The train is still waiting to take off. I was waiting a minute to see if it would go, but it hasn't gone yet. <laughs> so you guys have already seen it a few times, but we're gonna go to the Leona Vicario location, which it's a very small, I'm assuming a very small location, and the stairs don't work. And we're wondering how we're gonna get from here because we're not quite sure. The uh, electric stairs are not working. So we're gonna go do it the old school way. We we're both really tired, but this trip was really good. Like we really enjoyed it. And we both agree that um, it's a nice overnight to stay in Valladolid, but I'd suggest two nights, honestly. Oh, okay. So this is to go under the train and go to the other side, I guess. So it's a tunnel to go to the other side of the train. So again, like the other stations, you can see that there are gonna be stores but there's not stores yet. Ooh, I want these office chairs. Hi, Amlo, can I just have um, one of the office chairs, please? Thank you. Oh, what do you have on your head? Oh, you're so sweet, aren't you? You're so sweet, look at my buddy. Look at my buddy. Hi. So we're at the information station. What are you doing? Is he taking your spot? What are you Huh? In English. In English. ¿Qué in English? There's another one. Hi. Are you with the mama? There's nobody here. There's a couple cars. There's just no. There's just nothing here. Oh, these are gonna be like tours and stuff. I think. Babe, I think we're screwed. Oh man. Oh, well, there goes the train. Maybe we can have somebody take us on this. I think our only option is like the motorcycle. I'm starting to wonder and think that this is what we're gonna end up on. Uh, Cause we were gonna take an Uber, but it's 800 pesos. And I wanna try to find a cheaper option if possible because most people are probably not gonna try to use Uber, but it doesn't seem like there's a bus or anything here. So the ticket counter, uh, so I didn't realize there was even a lady in there, like until the National Guard told me she's gonna call us a taxi. And she said from here to Leona Vicario to center is 50 pesos. So we're gonna take a taxi. But this lady was really nice. She's like, uh, what we were talking to that I didn't record. Uh, she said, our trunk is full, but we would totally give you guys a ride at least to Leona. All right, so they ordered a taxi for us. We're waiting. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think there would be so much here at all, but you think there would be like, I don't know, maybe a taxi or somebody waiting? At least the little orange bikes waiting for you? I don't know. Wasting time. This is like a two hour video at this point if we were to use all these clips. He has a route. He's expensive route. Come here. What's the writing on you? It's like somebody took a marker. What you doing? 
What you doing? Oh, hey, Foofy. Beautiful lice. You know how in the States we call them like spot or what do you call, what do we call them in the States? Spot or whatever, but in Mexico they call them firulais. Like if you if you have a dog that doesn't have a name. Fifi, firulais. Fifi, firulais. Gonca. Solo vino. Come on up. She's so good. Diego's taking photos of me with this dog and she's like posed better than a three-year-old could ever be. Yeah, she's a good girl. She's so good. She said, hey, 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 so cute. She was really sweet. She goes, we'll figure it out. I'll put my kid in the front. And she's like, I was just worried about you guys. I said, I can tell you're a mom. She's taking care of her family, feeding the dogs and trying to take care of us at the same time. But I guess the general manager of the place said that he would take us to Leona Vicario. So that's really nice. No taxis were answering the call and the GM was leaving so he said he would take us. For us it wasn't a big deal to be stranded, but it would be a bummer for others for sure. We made it to Leona and now we're gonna take Colectivo to Puerto Morelos, I think, I hope. But they dropped us off at the main square park. Gracias! She also said normally the taxis would answer, but they didn't right now and it is Semana Santa. So everything on this trip has been a little bit funkier just because Semana Santa is the highest time of travel for Mexican travelers. Subale, subale. Subale, subale. We are getting the Colectivo to Puerto Morelos, but first I'm getting churros because he's not leaving just yet. And the Colectivo from Leona Becario to Puerto Morelos is 35 pesos, which I think it's funny because it's about, let's say, 25 miles or so. But to go about two miles is 50 pesos from the Mayan train to Leona Becario, but we got it for free because they were leaving work. And so we got a ride with them. But let's get some churros. Hola, buenas. This is a Saturday in Leona Vicario pretty calm. It's a cute little town about say 25-30 minutes away from Puerto Morelos down the Ruta de los Anotes and this is an option for you just like it was for us to take the train here instead of Cancun. We just wanted to try the Leona Vicario exit or station to see how it was, how it worked and share that experience with you. So we tried it and uh, it's actually pretty easy as long as we can get a taxi to the actual station. So that's another, that's another story. Disculpe, ¿cuánto cuesta un taxi para Puerto Morelos? Está saliendo 500 pesos. 500 pesos? Okay, gracias. So if you want a taxi, instead of 35 pesos, you can pay for the Colectivo, which we're waiting. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Oh, here he is. It's 500 pesos from Leona Bacario. So you have to wait an extra 10 or 15 minutes, but you save like 420 pesos. How much the taxi? 500. 500 pesos the taxi. But that's not- No, que nos fue hasta las nueve de la noche, nos esperamos. Yeah, but I mean, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Because yeah, yeah, that's you're an emergency. So I'm sorry. He said the last the collectivo is at like between nine and nine thirty, but the last train I think comes in at like seven o'clock. So if you do come in later or you stay later, you can get a taxi for five hundred pesos from Leo Navicario to Puerto Morelos. passing Puerto Morelos train station and the driver said that if somebody does want to take the Colectivo from the station 
you can, but you have to come outside the station and catch it right on the highway. So, or not highway, but the Ruta de los Sonotes, which I thought was good. And it's 30 pesos, so it's actually still a good price, but we got 35 pesos from Leona Bacari, which is literally twice the distance. For example, we paid 150 pesos. Well, his for the same price, we would have paid 100 pesos to go by taxi. For so to get For the same distance. You say for the same price. Uh, for the same distance, sorry. Uh, blah, 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 blah. But you would still have, if you have luggage and stuff, you would still have to walk. I mean, that's a good... Uh, like, it's not really long. With luggage, it would be far. Just backpack. Backpack. It's, it's five minutes walking. So he dropped us outside of the Chedrawi, not the main park. And then he's going back to Leona Vicario. Bye. We made it, babe. We made it. Yes. Our friends took care of our dogs while we were gone for the night. So they're coming to pick us up and we're gonna see Guapo and Crispy. So I'm very excited because I've missed them. So they're coming for us now. I'm gonna do another follow-up video about my thoughts about the whole Mayan train. Da -da -da -da. We made it back to Puerto Morelos. Hey, 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 hey. Uh-oh, we're dancing. I got my, Woo! 